Well, hopefully this will be our last bash through these dent trees or grass trees or black boys as I, I like to call them because there's, an, uh, there's a hole there. Hopefully that's a burrow and not a snake and not a den of vipers. Well, we're definitely on a uh, flat ridge top country here. Yeah, as I said, this would have been rather nice, sort of sub, it would have been like sub alpine three or four months ago. But we can always come back in 2014 if you so, if you so wish. And yep. So somewhere down there should be the swamp. And so what do you think I should just split the side, go straight down the middle? Is that the best? Yeah I can see uh, open land down there so hopefully if we're lucky if I just head towards that and it should open out when we get to the swamp and we'll be on this side of the swamp, the left hand side of the swamp and uh, we'll be, we'll be able to look along the side of the track for any seeps because if there's any seeps and water is still flowing visibly flowing this time of year well that means it should remain damp as we go over the the dry or the summer season sort of thing and that will either give the roots of banana a chance to hang on in the soil or the opportunity for them to set seed so they can come back from seed every year on an annual basis but uh, I can see some sort of bulrushes there and I don't really want to have to hack my way through bulrushes so uh, I suppose we're going to have to go down and look and see what it is otherwise as I said it's like being an explorer you've never been here before on this side I mean Google Maps can only give you so much But isn't that wonderful the way they got those power lines going down there? You think you're out there in the middle of the wilderness and then there's a set of power line. Well as I said in the past, you know, power lines and golf courses and CPs all seem to quite often go together. I mean uh, Canton Swamp. They built a golf course on the corner of that on the corner of Nicholson Road and Canton Swamp. Yeah. I think they started building that the uh, I think it was the second yeah I went there so that would have been 75 because I went there first time in 74 so I assume they started building that in 75 but I could be wrong it could have been like late in the year of 74 when I gone back for the third or fourth time because I used to do that I used to get uh, parents to take me back here yeah, at least twice every school holiday sometimes three times like sometimes we'd have WA we used to have really long holidays you know two and three week holidays during the years and then over the Christmas period and it, and it gets really stinking hot but for a very short time I always used to go back one week before my birthday and it used to piss me off I said why can't you just have one more week of holidays and then I could have my birthday and holidays you know because uh, I always used to like the You'd have that Sunday before you go back to school and you're absolutely paralysed. It was, a, it was a day of holiday, you should be having holidays, but no, you know you're going back to school, back to being bullied and all that sort of thing, so you know, you're totally paralysed. A wasted day sort of thing. And then you knew going into that week your birthday would be there too, so you had the, fe the bad feelings about going back to school and being bullied mixed in with what should have been, you know, excitement about your birthday sort of thing, you know. So, uh, yeah mixed feelings about that but anyway well the, well the sunlight or well the sun energy is quite fantastic here yeah, I hope it's picking it up I don't know but it's very grassy down there but you never know what we might find I'll start a new clip